Hi everyone, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer. And I'm QP83 from Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. Decided to do a little joint review for the second one. I told you uh, we were going to do another playset. And this one is the Life in the Dream House uh, Malibu Avenue Bakery. Hey, hey! So there are three so far playsets in this line. We have the cafe, which is right here. There's a grocery store type of one. And then there's a pet store, pet boutique as well and they all kind of have the same look and feel to them. Again this is the same as the pet store, it's a facade, a little outline of what the shop is. Uh, there's nothing to connect the two stores or the three stores together at the bottom which uh, would be nice but there isn't. Uh, you have of course a half a chandelier, gotta have a chandelier somewhere in a Barbie uh, playset. Even if it's just half a chandelier. <laughs> I don't understand why it's only half a chandelier. <laughs> I guess because it's only a facade. I, it kind of blows my mind. It's only half of one. Um, you want to talk about the uh, the display? This is super cool. Okay, this is one of the cooler features in this one. So this is kind of like if you uh, have never gone to a coin shop and they have that revolving window. Here's a revolving window of treats. Now the treats in here are cardboard mm -hmm. and they are pretty much permanent. If you wanted to take cardboard out, you could make it your own stand, except I don't know how well this would work. But these are permanent at the moment. You also have the ability to kind of place these easily on the top of the display in a way that they won't fall off. This is actually just a tray of snacks. These are all attached to the tray. You can't take them off. Um, you can't redisplay them in any sort of different fashion. They're just like this. But I actually like it that it's stuck on there. It, it's one big giant piece that you can use for a, a photo little shoot. So I, I, I actually like that. And then you have your screen up on top. Yes, and then there's a the video your screen menu. which also connects to the top of this so it doesn't fall off if, you know, Barbie is an accident. And this kind of topples over. And I've already told you what I feel about cardboard food and cardboard <laughs> items. I'm not a fan of it, but I think if you do take those pictures off, it they don't swing a lot, so you could probably put little tiny props on there of food of your own kind of stuff on there. So if you want to play with it, go ahead and tell us how it works. I'm not taking it apart right now. It comes with the um, table and chairs for the cafe. They were already put together, so no putting together for them. Uh, the only thing that doesn't stay in those little curly cues are the forks. On it, it shows um, a plate of cookies, a drink, um, two drinks and a cupcake. These are also made with that same little um, little thing on the bottom that you use for the dream house that holds into the curly cues on your table, which is really easy to use. Uh, this is a Barbie it comes with. If you watch the first review, you will note that I did not like the first one. This one's cuter, and she has jointed knees. Her legs. She has jointed legs. It's really funny seeing which ones they decided to give jointed legs and which ones get jointed elbows and which ones just get no articulation whatsoever. Uh, this one definitely needed the bending legs if she was going to sit comfortably at this cafe table. But you could also say the pet groomer would have been more comfortable with jointed elbows had they yeah. given it to her. Exactly. <laughs> so it's so weird how Mattel is kind of putting these together. But this one is nice. She's got a nice little outfit. She has nice shoes on. Her, her hair is nice. She has a pretty face. This is the first one that came with a pet groomer. She's kind of blah. <laughs> I mean, she's okay. She's blah. She's standard. And then, Ashley will admit, this one has the same problem with the dress, mm -hmm. where if it just does not go straight so that you don't show a little peekaboo. Yeah, it's very strange. It is. Her shoes have a bit of an angle to the heel, too. Now that I'm looking at it from the sideways, it's like, just go straight. I think that's just the way it was in the box. So it's it's really pliable, rubbery shoe. She's a cute outfit. I she mean, does. it doesn't it's fit cute. exactly as it should, but it, it has is flowers on it. It's cute. And her hairstyle is a little more interesting. I think the color, the blonde they chose for this style, is just a little warmer than the blonde they chose for the other. She has more honey highlights in there. And this one is really, really just blonde with only a few honey highlights. Of the three down, three Barbies that are in the three sets though, she's like my second favorite. So my other, my favorite one's in one of the other box sets. 
One cool thing about this as well is if you have the Barbie Dream House and you have all the little bits of food or, you know, furniture, items, accessories that came with the Dream House, they can also go into this table. So Barbie could theoretically have a, I don't know, a turkey dinner. Turkey dinner, yeah. <laughs> or something like that in or this a, cafe. Or a box of popcorn, a bowl yeah. of popcorn. She so, can have her laptop sitting there. So they're all interchangeable, these playsets, which is awesome. On the side of this one, um, there are holes that you could put things in, like if you had little cupcakes. So you could, if you had a stack, I don't know why they gave you all those and they only gave you one cupcake, but if you have a whole bunch of little cupcakes, you can stick them right inside there on the shelf. It would be interesting to see if they come out with accessory packs for these. Just kind of like, like the My Rooms, where you bought the room and then they had accessory packs. It would be cool to see if they eventually have like a cupcake accessory pack. And this has the same as the pet one where you can take the uh, sign off. Watch me do it. There. Ooh. Flip it down. And now it's just it's whatever you want. Or it's not even <laughs> a cafe anymore. So it could just be your living room and, and use it as a living room set. Um, I like this one. There, um, there, I like the revolving part on there. Um, there's not uh, the pet store didn't have as many things. I like the characters in the pet store, but this is kind of cute. I like that. So I think this is my second favorite. This is a cute set. I, I, I agree. Um, I think this is really cool. And I like the accessories that came with this one. And I like that she has, put, she has bendable knees or jointed knees. I think that's a nice thing. And when you do take this out of the box, this is separate. So you just hook this to the bottom for stability. I forgot to mention that in the other review, but that just holds it so it's not wonky. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, I think that's about it on this set. Thank you for watching, and um, stay tuned. We'll do the third playset. And and you can find my channel over at QP83, K-E-W-P-I-E-8-3 for down toy reviews, some featuring my mother. We kind of bounce back and forth, <laughs> overlap sometimes. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Bye.